What has been my most memorable moment in comics? I am I I am not going to say the time that Jim Lee introduced me to Stan Lee, um, but that was pretty cool. Uh, I am not going to say um, the time I ended up at some drinks with Neil Gaiman and Frank Miller and Bill Sienkiewicz and and like Karen Berger, um, which was also pretty cool. Um, it was it was my third Comic Con and my first as a creator. And I was doing a signing for a book, and some like 13 year old kid came up and asked me to sign it. You know, the first time I had proof that a person bought a book that I wrote and then liked it enough to drag it with them across the country for me to sign it. Like the first manifest proof of, all right, I'm not gonna say I changed somebody's life, but I nudged it enough to make them do this. The power is maddening, it's wonderful. <laughs> I make people do what I want them to do provided all I want them to do is bring me a comic book to sign that so far is the limits of my mind control <laughs> is I can very surreptitiously demand people to travel across country and bring me my own comic book to deface of every way to communicate to a mass audience that's out there there is the least barrier between you as a creator and that audience in comics you know, if I want to make a movie, I got to get somebody to give me $90 million. I got to convince a board of directors. I got to get 300 people on a set. I got to, like, I've got to move mountains and assemble armies to make a movie happen. Same thing with TV. In a comic book, like, I need an artist. I need a letterer. I need a colorist. I need an editor. Like, and then there's me. So how many fingers is that? That's like five or six. I don't count well. I don't do math. But that barrier is so tissue thin between the story you want to tell and the audience getting that story. Um, and it's published around the world. You know, it's a global medium. It's a mass medium. And there's seven people responsible for making it. That's kind of amazing, you know. Like, and it's, and it's a medium that can let you do anything as long as you're willing to sort of push the edges of that medium. And it's, it's unique in that way. You know, I mean, maybe writing a novel, but that's a lot of words, man. Like, there's like 300 pages in a novel. I'm not doing that. Not when I write a 22-page comic book, you know, and still tell a story and tell a story with color and verve and bounce and, you know, and 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 there's this 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 wonderful magic in a comic book that exists nowhere else, where the reader becomes complicit in the telling of the story. Because if you're reading a novel, the writer is telling you everything. You know, like you start reading from page one, you end on page 235, and the the writer has told you everything. In a movie. I mean, the magic of the movies is, yes, there are a bunch of still pictures that you're butting together and we pretend it's motion, but it's all there. With a comic book, in between the turns of pages, in between the panels, the reader is filling in those blanks. The reader is helping you tell the story. And you are using the reader's assumptions to both inform and then contradict the story you're telling. Like, they're, they're accomplices. Like, you're, you're pulling a heist. You're pulling a story heist, and you can't do it without the reader because the reader is bringing something to the table in a way that they bring in no other medium. And it's, it's the magic of comics. It's, it's we're all in this together. And that doesn't exist anywhere else. Not to say that the only reason we tell these stories is to see the response in an audience, but we're telling them, we're telling these stories so to an audience for that reason. I mean, it's why we do it. Like we want to be able to, to subtly or sometimes enormously help change the way a person thinks. You know, maybe it's as small as, oh, I laughed that one time. Or, that was kind of cool, I'd never seen that before. Or, wow, I'd never thought about what life must be like in that place. You know, I'd never, I'd never internalized what it must feel like to be too smart in a place where nobody's valued for being smart. You know, like I've never, I've never had to cogitate my way around what it must be like to have to pretend to be something you're not. You know, like those are all stories that get told in comic books. And, and to be able to tell them to people is why you do it. You know, not that you want the adulation, not that you want the, the ah from a crowd. Those things are not bad, but that's not why. They're side effects. They're, 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 bonus. they're bonuses. They're not the reason. The reason is, hey, you know, I, I might have touched somebody in a way that is totally acceptable in society.